in this video, we're going to look at solving equations which have an x squared in them. Uh, one way students try and solve equations with x squared is we take the square root of both sides, which works great as long as there's not also an x in the equation. If there's both an x squared and an x in the equation, that won't work. And so what we will do is we will factor the equation before we solve the equation. So if we had an example like x squared minus 4x minus 12, we've got both x squared and x in there. The nice thing, though, is because it equals 0, if we factor it first, we can use the zero product rule, which says one of the factors must be 0. So let's see if we can factor it. Still equal to 0. Don't lose that equal to 0. Please write that every line so we don't forget. If it equals 0, we can actually solve for x. If it does not equal 0, we cannot solve for x. That's an important line to have there every time. Uh, we've got x times x equals x squared. Because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we can use the shortcut that we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 4. Uh, 12 uh, is 4 times 3, but that's not going to give us 4. 12 is 6 times 2, and that can be negative 4 if the 6 is negative and the 2 is positive. So negative 6, positive 2. And now that it's factored, we have two things multiplied together that equal 0. That means one of them must be 0. We'll say x minus 6 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. And then we simply have to solve these two equations by first adding 6 to both sides, x equals 6, or subtracting 2 from both sides, x equals negative 2, and we've got the two solutions to this equation. If x is 6 or if x is negative 2, the equation x squared minus 4x minus 12 will equal 0. Let's try another example. In example 2, we have 3x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. Again, with x squared and x, the only way we have to solve those right now is to factor still equal to 0. Well, first times first has to equal first. The only way to get 3x squared is 3x times x. Last times last has to equal last. The only way to get 4 is 2 times 2. Can we use those to get the plus x in the middle? One of them has to be negative, if, because it was a negative 4. So 3x times 2 is 6x. 2 times x is 2x. Boy, that's not going to give us 1x. Plan B. We could try switching the 2's, but that won't really change anything. So let's try something else. Factoring, hopefully it equals 0. Uh, 3x squared, the only way to get 3x squared is 3x times x. Switching the 2's doesn't do any good, but what if we tried 4 times 1? That also equals 4. Let's see if that can work. So 3 times 1 is 3x, 4 times x, is 4x. Can that equal positive 1? Yes, it can, if the 3x is negative. So we want the outside to be negative, the inside to be positive. And we've now factored it to 3x plus 4 times x minus 1. If this doesn't work, we might have switched the 4 and 1, but we finally found it, 3x plus 4 times x minus 1. We have two factors that are multiplied together and equal 0. That means one of them has to be 0, either 3x plus 4 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. We can solve both of these quickly. Subtracting 4 on the first equation gives us 3x equals negative 4. Divide by 3 and x is equal to the fraction negative 4 thirds. Or in the second equation, adding 1 to both sides and x equals 1. So what we found is we can find the solutions to an equation with x squared and x, it's called a quadratic equation, by simply factoring and setting each factor equal 
to 0.